Welcome back, Cookaholics. It's that time of year. It's New Year's, January, MTB Elite. So, today I got my MTB Elite box for the month of January 2020. So you can tell by the uh, New Year's festive thumbnail. <clears throat> so, anyway, uh, for some strange reason, everything's kind of catching up with the Holdover for the um, Angler's Hall box being prolonged into January, not getting it in December, but, you know, I just dropped that video a couple days ago. Um, this actually surprisingly came sort of ahead of schedule. I mean, Mystery Tackle Box tries to get their boxes out early in the month, every month. However, I've noticed in, in, in recent time, um, it's been coming later on in the month, you know, end of second week, middle of third week. So this was kind of a, an actual unexpected surprise. I honestly forgot all about it. But uh, it came in today, the uh, Elite version. Uh, if you don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, it's every other subscription mail order uh, tackle supply chain box system. You pay a monthly fee. Uh, there's three tiers, Standard, Elite, or at least the top of the tier, but you got Standard, uh, Pro, and Elite. Um, and you get a series of baits, soft plastics and hard baits, uh, jigs, terminal tackle, occasionally small item uh, apparel like, uh, you know, gloves or um, necos, uh, the, the face masks, things like that. Different things to aid you along in your fishing travels and your trips. Um, without further ado, if you'd like to subscribe to a mystery tackle, I'll leave the link in the description on the bottom as always. Um, they always have sales going on. Uh, they just came off of their Black Friday sale, their Christmas hang uh, layover sale, etc., etc. Without further ado, we'll open this bad boy up. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to see what New Year's baits and tackle uh, the old Carl Van Dibble has to offer. Uh, as always, you get your Dibble's Digest. Uh, it's got a little... Uh, a little fun crossword on the back this time. More normally it's a word search, so that's kind of cool. Uh, challenge by Carl, MTB Trick Shot Challenge. Film yourself pitching, flipping, or skipping a jig into this month's box and share it. Showboating is encouraged. Hmm. So on their social media, you know, Facebook, Twitter, etc., you can flip, pitch, and uh, and uh, cast your baits into these into this box, and you might uh, end up getting a you know a little bit of fun social media prowess. Alright, so how to fish your MTB baits. Now this is interesting. This is something that I actually do appreciate. So I'll, I'll hold this up. You can actually pause it if you want. Try to get it all in frame there. So we have basically is the the different areas along this, you know, regional lake. You've got your, you know, your points. Uh, you've got your inlets for uh, little backwaters here, channels, and it shows you depth readings and then it actually will describe the types of hooks and where or where you would fish these different baits for the best possible results for those specific areas of the lake. And I do like that. They've got an underwater uh, a, a road. they got a bridge with pilings. They've got a dock. They don't have a road... Uh, deck sometimes, but they have riprap rock, tr down trees for underwater cover. That's always good. Uh, and it lists, I guess, the baits that are supposed to be in here. We have a Mollux Nano Jig, a Z-Man TRD Hogs, a Carl's Amazing Baits Shiver, sh Shiver Crank, Excite Baits Soft Plastic Jerk Bait, and a bonus Penetration Hooks E-Hook with Keeper. So I'm assuming these uh, things, as you, as you saw on the map, um, it shows you where the e-hook is, and then it's indicated on here as number, uh, what is this, I guess, I don't know, number four is the excite baits, so it's showing, place that down tree, uh, under trees, mossy grass flats, um, just basic places where you'd fish it, so that's kind of nifty, I like that, always helpful to see something that helps a novice, uh, encourages them to try new, new places to fish, not just new baits to fish, so that tells you, you know, don't worry about throwing a jig in cover. That's what they're made for. A lot of people get scared to toss jigs into underwater trees, laydowns, where people throw their Christmas trees into ponds and lakes because they don't want to lose their bait. Sometimes that's the only way. You got to risk it to, you know, to actually get that big bass. 
as always, oh, that's cool. <laughs> Football season. Carson Wentz. Ah, Carson. Football season. Football fish. <laughs> so that's a pretty cool sticker. That's definitely going on my wall of, uh, of keeper stickers downstairs. I've uh, got your what's in the box card. Quick little flash of that if you want to pause it for the price values and everything. So it looks we got two, four, six, eight, nine baits. Lucky number. Nine baits in this month's box. And uh, we'll start right off the top with. Uh, well, actually, that's a name brand and a bait that I have not seen come in a box for a while. So I'm going to start at the lowest tier item first. I'm going to start at the bottom with. The Excite Baits Uber Shad for three dollars and fifty-six cents. Excite Baits Uber Shad. That is not good. That's not it. Let's see if we can find this thing. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's gonna stay. Oh, there it is. Alrighty. Excuse me. So we've got Excite Baits Romans by Randy Picks, uh, Roman 8, it's the Smoke Show Baby Uber Shad. This is a soft plastic, shad-shaped, curly tail. So you've got that black pepper flake in the clear plastic sole on the top, and then it's got this sheen of, uh, you know, like a crystal shimmer. And it's got a curly tail on the back. This is awesome for throwing, actually, on the uh, the jig head. Hold on one sec. Over here, I've got my jig head box from last night, or from the, uh, from the other video. And, lo and behold, right off the bat, we had in my Angler's Hall box, the Warlocks, these screw keeper jig heads. So I was mentioning that these jig heads have this cove. Maybe you can make it out. It's a little cove in the head of the jig head bait. So you got your screw keeper. And what this will do, I might want to nip the, the top of this off a little more. Even maybe cut the entire head off and go back to here. But the idea is you could actually put this on and that little uh, niche in the in the head of the of the of the uh, the jig here allows you to get that down facing nose down presentation like a feeding fish um, and with this curly tail fishing this jig uh, wait you know weedless because it's got a little notch in the back of the soft plastic for your hook to set this would be awesome to jerk down on the bottom a little bit jig it around roll it over top of a tree stump, over top of underlaid trees and logs, because that curly tail is just going to sit up there and twist and twitter and flutter ever so slightly and gently. And uh, that probably, not necessarily color that I'd go for. Um, I'd like a little bit more stark contrast in this. Um, definitely clear water, crystal clear water, this is a good go-to. Um, but muddy water, I probably would want a little bit more of a, of a contrast, maybe even a straight black version of this. But that's, that's different. I'm normally used to either just a little wiggly tail or the, obviously, the, the split tail uh, flukes. So this is kind of interesting seeing a curly tail on the bend. So that's, that's awesome. $3.56. It'll go well with my other subscriptions um, jig. And this is a pack of two, four, five, five or six. I think six. One, two, three, four, five. Five pack. So that's pretty pretty decent. Five pack of those soft plastic baits. Next up for three dollars and seventy-five cents. This is penetration hooks e-hook with keeper. Alright, so we've got ourselves a lizard and senko and fluke. Um, and stick bait hook. So this is a quantity of three three aught e hooks. And these are not bad. 
Okay, if I can get it out of the bag. So, got ourselves some 3 aught offset shank with that little barbed plastics keeper. Little devil's horns, I call them. Um, not the stickiest of sticky hooks. I mean, uh, I'm not really... Uh, never used Penetration Hooks brand. This is out of Cartersville, Georgia. So it's American made. That's a good thing. But, uh... I, don't know, it's, I guess it's kind of sticky. I'm, I'm more of an owner, um, uh, you know, Daiichi hook kind of guy uh, when it comes to certain things. But uh, no doubt, I definitely will fish this probably with a worm or a large sized, um, you know, swim bait. I think this would work really, really, really well. So that's pretty good. Always happy to have, uh, you know, terminal tackle. You can never have too many hooks. You're always going to lose them. Eventually they rust off or, or break off or bend or whatever. And you're going to have to replace them. So it's nice to have. And this is a good size for me as a 3 aught. It's that nice middle of the range. I'll, sh you know, I'll throw ones rarely. More, more, more likely than not, I'll be a 2, a 3, 4, or a 5 aught hook, depending on what I'm throwing. Next up, we've got Molex Nano Jig. Molex nano jig so we've got a uh, color number 126 it's a five gram or three sixteenths ounce um, little jig they call it wild crawl so the color is wild crawl or otherwise 126 let's get this out of the package this is a nice little finesse jig head weedless with that Weed guard, nice weedless presentation. Little tiny hook, definitely finesse. Nice skirt. I'd probably trim this skirt in line with the downspot of that that hook right there, and then maybe put a tiny little chunk trailer or even um, things like this. You can put uh, little tiny soft plastic, little finesse soft plastics, or um, you know. Gulp minnows, gulp little gulp grubs uh, work well on these. Uh, vertical line tie. Nice bullet presentation head. I do like they've got a little hint of of red of orange on the bottom, and as overall it's like a dark moss green brown color. That's pretty cool, and it does have a flat side, so it is going to settle, um, you know, lay flat on the ground. So that's pretty cool. But that's yeah, that's awesome, and I need. I need to get out. I'm going to try to get out this weekend because the weather's supposed to be nice. It's going to be, I think, in the 60s, as crazy as that sounds. Like high 50s, maybe even hit 60 degrees on uh, Saturday and Sunday. Might be a little rain on Sunday, uh, if I remember correctly from what I saw on the forecast yesterday. But that's cool. Now, the Nano Jig by Molex runs $4.49. Next up, Venom Venrig Head for $4.99. Oh, here we got a little jig head set. One sixteenths, one aught. Package of four. Again, that is four dollars and ninety-nine cents. That's a little steep. Where's my knife? I'm killing myself here trying to pull it. Packing apart. There we go. It's a little steep for a four pack of little uh, jig heads, but. And they call them Vens. These are little Ned heads. You see a little flat front, little tiny wire, single bar hook keeper. Perfect for doing your little Ned Rig finesse job, cold winter. And again, like I said, sometimes you get these mass produced ones and the paint dripped, and I'm going to have to clean out the eye holes on all of these. I guarantee it. Yep, every single one has got a painted in eyelet. So my line tie, I will have to clean those out before I head out to the water with these. But white, um, again, this is great for muddy water for me. A uh, bright white, I can use, again, a, a little grub or uh, a Z-Man, uh, you know, a little finesse TRD on the end. And, uh, and play with that. I, I'll definitely take these out this weekend, see what pans out. I'll use my little light rig. Basically, probably just go pan fishing. I'm not, I'm not going to go for bass. I might catch um, a couple of trout. We do have stocked rainbows and brook trout and all kinds of stuff around. Uh, the water so I might I might be lucky and catch a couple of trout while I'm out 
That's four dollars ninety nine cents by Venom. Z Man TRD. There you go. Z Man TRDs hogs. I have these already, so I've got another pack. These are just straight green pumpkin, green pumpkin three inch six pack of the TRDs um, hogs. I'm sure you've seen these before. Uh, I do like these. I like the little appendages on the side. That's why I have so many. I have them in um, purple, uh, black, blue, you know, blue with black flake. I've got them in green pumpkin. I got them in green pumpkin with red flake. Um, this is just green pumpkin pepper, basically green pumpkin with black flake in it. I like these little appendages. Occasionally, I've noticed that these, even as it's an Elaztec product, um, I have noticed occasionally these will get taken off. Like one will disappear. And instead of rigging it, you know, typically like this with your two appendages flopping, I will rotate it and rig it so that the the um, the hook's coming out one side. It it's even kind of funny when you have the double laminate versions, like the one I have, which is like a um, like a tequila sunrise kind of pattern, where it's it's reddish purple on one side and almost a pink chartreuse kind of color on the other. Um, that one. I'll rig it more like this, and I'll I'll swim it like a fish, because the one leg, sometimes I'll even cut it off, but when this one leg goes, you could actually have this kind of like, almost a, um, like a fish's fin swimming along. So I can always get longevity out of them. Even if one appendage gets cut off, you can rotate your hook and swim it to have a slightly different appearance. Um, and sometimes that's all it takes to really key those fish back into uh, to taking that bait. If they're not looking for a crawl, they're looking for a little minnow, just rotate it, and now you're swimming it more like a fish rather than a crawl. Simple simple stuff. Um, it's the same thing you, you look at worms. You can Texas rig a worm, or you can wacky rig a worm. A wacky rig flutter, the same exact Senko, can be, can be pulled uh, on a Texas rig or a Carolina rig. You know, it's just that slight different variation of angles of, a, of a appearance that the, the fish get that might trigger uh, a fish that otherwise wouldn't go after it. There you go. So that's cool. Always, always keep your Elaztec products separate from all the rest of your um, soft plastic baits. Um, well, I'll say Elaztec and the Carl's Bait and Tackle has another product line that they put out with a similar... Um, style of plastisol with a similar softener setup where it's very very durable uh, off the top of my head forgive me I can't remember the name of what they call their material um, but uh, nevertheless those two products you keep them far far away from other soft plastics they, the, the way that they're made the, the chemical inside that keeps them extremely uh, uh, stretchable and, and soft and pliable will melt everything else. It'll melt um, rubber skirts next to jigs. Um, it can it can alter them. It can curl them up and make them almost like crispy French fries. It can totally turn your regular soft plastic uh, swim baits into a ball of mush. Then you have just a giant rubber bouncy ball uh, of wasted baits. So be careful and mindful of that. Uh, the TRD hogs are $4.99. Carl's Amazing Baits Shiver, Shiver Crank. I know the packaging well. So we got a little crank bait here. Dive 6 to 10 foot. I'm more of like the 4 to 6, maybe 8 foot range right now in this time of year. Um, but nevertheless, so this is the Shiver Crank. It is a 6 to 10 foot diving crank bait. It is a pain in the butt to get out of the package as always. Always. Um, the color is, the color is Ghost Gill. It's a three, t three tenths of an ounce and it's a 2.25 inch crankbait. So again, you got that blue gill. The perch lines, you see, it's a thing. Blue gills have those striations, but perch pattern, the blue gills around me, uh, obviously we have a lot of, uh, pumpkin seeds. These striations are more lightning bolt they're more you know left and right as they come drop down the body of the, of the fish they're not so perfectly parallel and and uh, vertical but nevertheless they're ghost gill um, it's definitely got that blue gill teal front yellow uh, chartreuse bottom black back and it it does i believe have a knocker in it 
it's, I don't, this is not a silent bait. I would hope it's not a silent bait. Let me try to pinch these hooks off. Yeah, that's a faint little knocker. So that's what you're going to get under the water. That's pretty cool. Good sticky hooks. I've already poked my finger twice. So I put this down before I stab myself. I've, I've injured myself all week. Um, I've, been, I've been accident prone this week, so it's, I'm trying to stay out of danger as much as possible. So I'm using safety razors instead of like my fish fillet knife. To, I don't want to end up losing a finger this year. <laughs> the, uh, the Carl's Amazing Crank, that shiver crank, is $6.99. That's going to be a fish catcher. Um, you know, you can, you could definitely easily get that down. It says six foot to, uh, what is it? Six to 10. Uh, that fast. I forgot. I'm losing my mind. Uh, I read it. I know I read it. I did say it. I read it. Where'd it go? Oh, well. Anyway, you can definitely get it down there. And if you run, uh, you know, lighter line, you can definitely... Uh, you know, sink it down to that max. Probably get another foot out of it if you really had to, if you have deep, deep water. Um, next up is the Casaic. That is a swim bait boot tail. Casaic boot tail. So this is a boot tail soft plastic swim bait. I do like this. It does have a hook hanger on the bottom if you wanted to put on your own hook, although I don't see a hook in the package. It would have been nice if they had a a treble added to the package but uh, it's a good stout stout swim bait nice hook on the top it's not weedless I like it when they have this uh, this fin in the front and this sets back it makes it just that little bit more weedless when you're drawing this through grass um, obviously it's cold water time so a lot of the grass has, sh has died down and shrunk but any muck and mire in the bottom uh, as you're dragging this along, it's definitely going to get caught up on this hook. It is a very, very sticky hook. Very sticky, so that's good. Um, but like I say, it would be really nice if they put, um, you know, just tossed a treble hook in the package with it. It does, like I say, have the line tie on the top and the attachment. Just throw a split ring and your own treble on there. Um, probably a decent white and red dressed treble. Feather dress treble might work really well. Um, not a bad color. This is more more the color scheme that I'm looking for. It's got a little bit more bold, dark, dark white shadow line, so it's gonna it's gonna hunt out a lot better in a little bit of murky water um, that we have around where I am. That Castaic again, eight dollars and ninety nine cents for that boot tail. Uh, next to last, Reaction Strikes XRM. So Reaction. Reaction Strike XRM. This looks to be way more into to what I'm looking for. This is a 3.2 inch, 2 to 4 foot diving, uh, 0.65 ounce bait. This will work really well. That's that 2, 3, 4, 6 at max foot diving range that I try to go for. Um, especially when I'm fishing bank off the bank. So... There's that little orange patch under the chin. Um, let's see real quick, do they have a color on this? Ghost French Pearl. Well, oui, oui. Cerro Bleu. <laughs> it's French Pearl. I don't, don't know what that means, but whatever. Um, so it's a ghost pearl color. And it definitely has rattles in it, quite a few to be honest. that's an understated rattle so that's good it's not it's not an overpowering overburdening rattle set it's got three large uh, BBs in the front and a small little one in the tail as well as a chamber uh, J chamber in the in the center so that's definitely going to ha help with casting this J chamber that marble that BB will come up and to the back cast out and then settle back down into the um, into the belly when it noses as you jerk and it just becomes a slight little knocker side to side that also, I think this is going to definitely see some action on Saturday. If it does, in fact, warm up, I will certainly use that. And last but not least, what I haven't seen a lot of, uh, from Owner, which is a brand that I trust, they have a bucktail shad. So it's a hair jig. 
It's a big hair jig. Um, probably bigger than what I need right now. This is probably something I'll hold off till and uh, until spring. But uh, it's a color ten, white on white. Um, obviously, it's the it's the shad uh, color pattern on the on the head. It's a one ounce six aught hook, and they staple the box together. So it's got a six aught owner, super sharp, and I'll be super careful because I know owner's quality right there. They did try to protect it, but hooks so sharp, the protection they put in to prevent you from stabbing yourself got shredded. <laughs> Come on off. Let's see if I can get this uh, hook thing off the barbier. There we go. Don't need that piece of plastic. Um, so you got your bucktail hair jig. And there's that very, very nice shad color. The gray, silver, speckles, 3D eyes, forward-facing uh, line tie. So you're going to be pulling this guy just like this through the water. And there is really one of the few things, I mean, bucktails, once this gets wet and lays itself out, it is one of the most accurate imitators, you know, for fish um, to cue in on. It's got two nice feathers in the middle and that bucktail hair uh, all around it. I'm sure, and, you know, I'm sure as owner, these are definitely hand-tied um, bucktails. So, little peep, little pink on the on the on the schnoz there so that's pretty cool gives you that imitation of the open mouth <clears throat> i'd like him to flash that pink into the gill slits but you know it is what it is i like this this is good this is going to see some action probably later on more closer to the spring um maybe march april uh probably early march middle march probably um but yeah i'll throw this an ounce um i'll probably put it on my on one of my larger rigs obviously one of my heavier sticks uh, We'll see if that catches anything later on in the year. And that one, that was the big buy for the day at $12 even MSRP. So uh, again, just recap real fast. We have the owner bucktail at $12, the Reaction Strike XRM, that, that two to four footer, a um, little jerky bait, and that one is gonna be $9.99. The Castaics boot tail, uh, soft plastic bait is $8.99. The Carl Amazing Bait Shiver Crank, which I do like, that one's gonna be $6.99. The Z-Man TRDs are $4.99. The Venom uh, little heads that I'm gonna have to clean out all of those hook ties. Venom, get your act together. Um, that's $4.99. The Molex Nano Jig, which I'm impressed with, that's $4.49. Uh, Penetration Hooks E-Hooks with Keeper are $3.79. And the Excite Baits, the little Uber Shads, um, those are going to be $3.56. So that's a really cool buy. Good value for the box um, this year, or this, this year, yeah, it's January. Um, I'm happy to see that. I'll keep carrying on with these boxes. Uh, I will let the cat out of the bag. I did order some stuff from Tackle Warehouse with that last minute. Not a big order. I wasn't spent splurging on things. I've got more than enough equipment and, and stuff. And I have my uh, my other subscription that lends me all kinds of stuff, giving me reels and rods and, and, and whatnot. Um, but I have a Tackle Warehouse order coming in shortly. It actually is supposed to show up tomorrow. So that'll be surprising. I'll probably put off putting out and making that video uh, until a little bit much later. Uh, I don't want to throw video after video down everybody's throat. I'm, I'm not one of those people that puts a video out every day. And I'm certainly not going to put out a video, you know, um, every single week uh, like clockwork. Uh, I put out videos when I feel like putting out videos. I hope you can understand that. There is a real life that everybody has to lead. And uh, I enjoy making these. Uh, again, I don't have to worry. I'm not one of those guys that edit for three hours to put out a, uh, you know, a 20-minute video. Um... I typically make 30-minute videos <laughs> and don't edit them. So, uh, you know, I'm sorry if it, if it becomes a little long and, and drawn out, and but uh, I hope you enjoy some of the information that I can give as I go through. I try to explain some certain things. A lot of it is repetitive because we, most of us anglers, we've, we've got our go-tos and we, we fish the same things similar ways. Um, there's only so many ways you can fish, uh, you know, a hair jig. But uh, if I can give you a little tweak of something if I learn something from somebody I'm definitely gonna share it speaking of my video last my last video the uh, anglers hall 
for December that came in January, uh, I made mention of the uh, the fact that I didn't see a cleaning cloth in that uh, in that package because typically I've gotten sunglasses, uh, higher end, more expensive sunglasses, and they come with a little tiny microfiber cleaning cloth. It was brought to my attention, big ups, and I will leave a shout out down in the description below to a, a, a very you know a very I'm very appreciative. Um, he gave me the information that hey, the bag that it comes with is made of the microfiber material. You can use that. That is designed for you to clean the lenses, not just keep them and stow it in there. And I was like, well, yeah, I know. I, I should have thought of that. I never crossed my mind that the pouch that it's sold with as a as a uh, protective sheath and, and a storage uh, sheath is microfiber for cleaning as well. Duh. See, never thought of that. So every day you learn something new. And I want to make sure that if I pick up something like that, I can share it with you. If I pick up a way to fish a new bait, I can share it with you. If some other angler is far more skilled than me, and I'm telling you, there's a billion anglers out there far more intelligent and skilled than I am. But if I can learn something from them, I want to pass that on to you. And if you have something, please share it with me. I'm always willing to learn both non-fishing and fishing, as long as it kind of equates to what, what this channel's uh, you know mission statement is. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll make up that video when the, uh, when the uh, materials come in from, at, from uh, Tackle Warehouse, and I'll po post that you know, eventually. Uh, just don't expect to see it tomorrow because I'm not in any real hurry. And I hope you're not in any real hurry either. I'd like you to take a little time off of uh, watching my videos every once in a while and head out to the water and fish. Enjoy. Bring family, bring friends. Uh, even spend some time alone and just reflect and relax. So uh, from me to you, I hope you make a very, very uh, happy, healthy, prosperous new year. Keep your New Year's resolutions. Um, tight lines. Peace. I'll catch you on the next cast. Bye, guys.